Hey everybody, this is Kenny Thompson once again. We're going to be working on portraits this time. And one thing I want you to know before we start, before I show you any materials, that there's something very interesting about the human portrait. When you deal with the human portrait, whether it's front ways or sideways, there is an easy way of using basic shapes to make the facial features, like the nose, the mouth, the ears. But there's something else too. Did you know one side of your face is not the same as the other side. If you happen to be next to a mirror at home or wherever, try this. If you could take a piece of string, hold it right in the middle of your face from the chin to your forehead and have that line go down to the middle of the nose and look at yourself in the mirror, you'll see that maybe one side of your face, the eyes, may be a little bit higher or lower than the other side. Same thing with the corner of your mouth. Maybe you'll see a pattern where things are angled one, two, three. Everybody is like that. Nobody has one side the same as the other. We are created uniquely to have these features to where we don't look so geometric. So we don't all look like robots or aliens. So it's a neat little trick. It might be a little disturbing to some people, but try it at home. Now, without any further ado, I'm gonna show you some easy portrait lessons for faces and learning how to draw the facial features for kindergarten, first, second, third, fourth, and fifth grade. Let's get started. Get warmed up. Let's get used to drawing eggs upside down. Now, the first time you draw an egg, why not try doing a circle with an upside down triangle and then draw over it. Do this a bunch of times, looping over the same one over and over and over again. Do it a bunch of times. Now do it again. Maybe make the triangle a little bit shorter. Now it makes it look like the head is a little bit wider other than this one that's a little bit longer. So these could almost be two different people. Let's do it again. And now I'm going to just try to do this here. If I'm struggling with that, I can still do the circle and triangle. And just keep going that route. It's all about a circle on top of a triangle. These look like upside down eggs, don't they? Now, if I want to just try to do the shape by itself without the circles, I can do that too. Let's do this as many times as we can on our warm-up paper in our sketchbook. When you're ready, we'll continue. So do this about maybe... Let's try to do 15 of these. 15 ought to do it on your little sketchbook. Now let's do one decent portrait here, okay? Now, the biggest way of learning how to map out the human face and where everything goes. Understand, it's not going to be perfect. We don't want perfect, okay? Let me adjust my camera here. But if we try to make it look super perfect, it's going to look like it's from Mars or a robot. We don't want that. We don't want the perfectly gridded face. Our grid is more natural, not perfectly measured. So get over the perfection. Are you done getting over the perfection? Good. So let's start lightly with our circle. And let's get the bottom part, which is the triangle. Now, I can probably draw over and over and over again, getting it the way I want it. But this is general shape. Now, Let's grid a little bit. Let's do our first line, which goes down the middle. Just right here. Doesn't have to be perfect. And the other one that goes across, which is where the circle and the triangle generally meet. Let's go ahead and put the spaces for our eyes just right on that line. I don't want to put it below the line. If you do it below the line, that this person's going to look like a Marvel villain. Okay? We don't want that. We don't want the big giant forehead. Like some kind of Brainiac uh, super villain or nothing like that. Like Megamind. We don't want that. Now, 
halfway down from this line to the chin. Try this. Let's go halfway down and do another line. Right here, I want to do just a little shape of a nose. This isn't too much. And then I want to go halfway down from this new line to the chin and do one more line. Guess what? That's the mouth line. Now, let's do some creativity here. Let's start with the eye. Now the eye usually is not this whole big circle. This is usually like the eye socket right here, okay? So, let's do some soft erasing here because I don't want to overwhelm it. Once I have this eye, I'm going to just start with the lid coming up and it comes down. And I want to do the same thing with the bottom. So it looks very more like an oval. Inside of that, I'll do the iris, which is a circle. I don't want to do the iris right in the middle because it looks like it's blankly staring into your soul, which is kind of creepy. And then I'll do the pupil in the middle of that. Now right here, I can make the eye smaller if I want to. If I want to go back, just erase a little bit. Change the shape of the eye lid, make it a little bit more closed, that's fine. Maybe this person's very tired, like I am most days. If you ever see me in class, if I don't have my coffee, I'm exhausted. And let's do the same thing to this eye over here. I'm going to do soft lines. I'm going to try to make it look similar to this. I don't want it to look exactly like it because if you do the trick, like I said at the very beginning, and you look at yourself in the mirror, one side of your face is not going to be the same as the other. If the sides of your face look exactly the same, you would look kind of not normal. So we have his tired eyes. <laughs> okay. Now, where the top of the circle was that we did originally, that's usually where the eyebrow is. It's a good spot to put the eyebrow. If you want thick eyebrows, or maybe you want thin eyebrows, okay, it's either or. I'm doing this to show you you have options. So if you want to do different shaped eyebrows, that's perfectly fine. If this is a young person, you wouldn't put wrinkles up here. If it's an older person, you'd probably put the wrinkles up here. Probably not too many. I mean, I have wrinkles on the, my forehead whenever I look at somebody weird. Okay, let's move on to the nose. The nose can be simple. I do want to put the bridge up here, like just one line. That's fine. Or, I can make the nostrils a little bit bigger. Just these wider C's, this wider C shape. If I want to make the this line come down outwards, it would look like an older person or something with just more profound cheekbone. If I get rid of that, it looks softer. And what about the mouth? Maybe they're smiling a little bit. Maybe they're too tired to give you the big full grin. Maybe if I do a soft letter M shape. Has a top lip. If I do this little shape down here, that's like the bottom of the lip. Or I can not do that at all. And maybe instead, do what's right at the very top of the lip, between the nose and the lip. If you feel right there, just put your finger at the same spot as yours, you'll feel like almost like a little bit of a divot or a little bit of cave in right there. That's pretty much the definition of the lip. Maybe his chin's gonna be a little bit bigger, so I'm gonna do another little circle down here and I'm going to really make the chin a little bit wider here. So, there's a couple more things we can do.